Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic table of contents using Adobe InDesign. So as you can see, I've got a few pages laid out here for demonstration purposes and a table of contents just preliminary designed for this demonstration. The first thing we want to do is select the table of contents headline and we're going to go to paragraph styles. If you don't see that, go to window, styles, paragraph styles to open up that panel. Let's add a new style. We're going to call it table of contents heading. Next, select the contents and we're going to create a style for it. Next, we're going to go to our chapter titles, wherever those are, if they're in your pages or if you've created them dynamically in your master pages. Find that text where it, the origin is and select it. Let's create a new paragraph style for chapter titles. And we're going to need to apply that style to all of our chapters so that they're included in the table of contents. Now we're ready to go to Layout, Table of Contents, and here you can type the title, and the style is going to be our TOC heading. Styles in the Table of Contents, this is going to include our chapters, which we've given the chapter titles, Paragraph Style 2. So we're going to select chapter titles and add that to be included in the listing. And for the style of those chapter titles, we want that to be table of contents, content. And as you can see here in options, these will be created as bookmarks and a PDF. And you can save your style here. Go ahead and click OK, and it's going to give you a little arrow with the contents waiting to be placed in a text area. And you can do more formatting here if you'd like. So for that heading, if you wanted it all uppercase. You could change that there. And so this is looking much more similar. You can see our page numbers have been included. If you want to add a tab and change the alignment of the page number since they're very close right now, you can select that text and go to Type, Tabs, and let's create a right aligned tab for this. And you can also add a leader dot if you'd like. And you can style that further if you need to edit the paragraph style later. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. If you do make any changes, you can see how the chapter is updated. So let's say we move chapter 4. It gets pushed to this page down here. All you need to do is go back to your table of contents click on it and go to layout update table of contents and you will be able to see that the page number was edited to page six and we did lose some of the styling so you can go ahead and redefine style so that doesn't happen again in the future so what I did, you can see that there were changes to the paragraph style with this plus sign, which means it's been modified. So you can go to the flyout menu and redefine the style. Let's go back and change the chapter page again.
go back to the table of contents and select it. Now I'm going to lay out update table of contents again. And now you can see it has changed back to page four and our styling was kept. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.